And welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. We're back on the train again, still. <laughs> but I think this is going to be the last time... Uh, yeah, this will be the final part we're here, because we're already done with everything. The door to safety is shut. Yeah, the, it, I think this it told us this, like, <laughs> in the first part. There's no turning back. Alright. Oh, wow. We're both hurt. Jeez. Uh... I haven't played this... Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, I haven't played this in a while, so I kind of forgot the controls for a second. Hmm. This is a little... I guess... Yeah, we'll just drop the ink ribbon, who cares. Do I want to pick this one up? I don't know. You know, just for extra insurance, I'll pick it up. Whatever. You stay here. No. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right. Shortcut. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, I don't think Edward has anything else on him. No, it just has, he has bite marks all over him. Ugh. Alright, now we can open this door that leads to the conductor's car. Well, assuming I'm the one that has a card. And I don't. Billy does. I'll check it out. Roger. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Damn it, forget the controls of this game. Really? Game, it's right there. Come on. <laughs> Are you serious? There you go. Damn. Alright. Cool. Yeah, now we could just discard it. We won't need it no more. Ooh. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? <laughs> what happened? Jeez. <laughs> and that was just from leeches. Like, come on, guys. Those things are not really a threat at all. <laughs> they are. Just step on them. Yeah, you can see they're all dead. <laughs> Alright, now we can get over here. And let's see what we can do to stop this car. Or this train, is what I meant. <laughs> now that I look more closely at this, I, I think I do see what's going on. It's just a... I think it's just looping. <laughs> yeah. So there's power poles there. What the hell? Just there's power lines leading out of Raccoon City? I don't know. We're deep in the forest. The train line, the derailer crash. I gotta stop this thing. Ah, uh, yes, the infamous stop the train scene <laughs> in this game. <laughs> brake operation manual. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step one, activating the controls. The brake controls are located in the following locations. First dri car driver's compartment, rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will allow... This will supply power to both sets of controls. 
Step two, enter rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be entered. Step three, enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to move to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes can be used. All right, so this part is very important to note that um, one of your characters has to stay behind in the here in the cat in the first car while the other backtracks all the way to the back to the caboose to activate one of the brake codes now there is a scene you could get with Rebecca that only she could see if she's the one that has to go all the way back to the to the back of the car so we're gonna do that Oh, wait a minute. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. I screwed this up. <laughs> Jump cut. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca. Huh? Don't screw up, okay? <laughs> I won't. Alright. So, uh, first off, uh, there's some hidden handgun bullets here. I'm gonna pick those up. I mean, it helps. Alright, and most importantly, right now, uh, I think, yeah, we'll give Billy all the... Do we want to give him all the handgun? Yeah, we'll give him, we'll give it all to him. Uh, actually, first, let's reload our gun. Because, <laughs> get him pretty bad spot up, Weedy. <laughs> We don't have enough ammo. Alright, so first off, don't forget this stupid card. Please don't. I've seen so many people do this. <laughs> don't forget that card. Because if you get if you get all the way to the back of the last car without that card, you're screwed. That's it, you're done. You're, there's not enough time to come back and get it. Alright, so yeah, so a lot of, of course, a lot of zombies are going to get up from, from their places. This zombie here, yeah. <laughs> and more of them are going to be up in the train car. Actually, we could skip those zombies. There's a little uh, shortcut that you could do. I don't, it, it's, it's not the faster way, but it's the more safer way. Also, you could conserve ammo by doing this too, so yeah. Uh, going up here into the conductor's office, you could just go through the little bar area up here. Because down there, there's just a bunch of zombies. Oh, there's my shotgun over there, yeah. Uh, down there, there's just gonna be a bunch of zombies that get up from their seats, and that's... That, that, that's no bueno. We don't want, we don't want to fight them. Save ammo as much as we can. Get away. Freaking <laughs> leeches. Crawling on my ankle, get away! All right, see, uh, now we're safe. Now we only really have to fight one zombie, and he's over here. Kill Edward now. Uh, he has um, some. I think he has more HP than most zombies. You know what? We'll go ahead and kill him because he's our comrade. No, don't bite me. That was pretty bad, but whatever. Okay, it didn't really hurt that much. Uh oh. Edward, just die. There you go. Yeah, and then that guy gets up. The guy he was freaking feasting on gets up. Alright, 
Alright, so we're almost to the back, and of course, it can't just be easy as pressing a button. No, it. Damn it. It's a freaking math puzzle. I'm not kidding. But they're not too difficult, if I remember. But I'm pretty sure everyone has died on this part their first time going through. Either because uh, they couldn't figure it out or they forgot the stupid guard. Alright, so 67. Uh. I guess we could do. 8? No, 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 no. Yeah, 7. Yet, yeah, are there's. There's 9 of those. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it could be easy as just that. Roger, I'll put the brake on now. All right, so this is where it gets a little bit more difficult because, yeah, <laughs> you cannot see like the number to the left, so you have no idea where you're at. Stupid. All right, but it's 81, so, hmm. Be 999 or 8? Yeah, I think it would be 8. Oh, no, I put 9. Damn. My bad. No. Come on. Oh, man, I'm running out of time. <laughs> There you go. Holy crap, why are they going so fast? Jesus Christ. Going 100 miles an hour or over that. It's ridiculous. So now we're off the train. Where are we now? Rebecca, no. Come on. Get over here. <laughs> we are not fighting those guys. Yeah, there's some items there on the floor, but we'll we'll get them later. We're, we're gonna need some of them later anyways. Like that hook shot, that stupid hook shot. We need that later. Oh, I hate that stupid thing. But we'll get that later. We're gonna trudge through the crap here. All this piss and shit. <laughs> the Umbrella Research Center? General Manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. him. Attention, hmm? this is Dr. Marcus. 
Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Why is there a flame effect? Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> There's something I don't know about here? <laughs> really? Alright, so this is the training facility area. Um, majority, or at least the first half of the game, is going to be spent here, so yeah, we're going to have a lot of time here, and you're going to be seeing this hall a lot. First things first, um, I think I'm going to want to collect some Molotovs. And if I'm correct, you stay here. yeah, I'll okay. tell Billy to stay, I don't want to come Damn it! Stupid wrong button. I'm correct. There's some. We can make some in this hall over here. Also, we cannot get out of here because night swords firmly bar access to the door. I guess they're too heavy to lift. All right, we got some stuff over here we could use. Handgun rounds and. A green and red combination. Awesome. Let's go ahead and mix that right now. And I, I guess I could um, go and get one of the weapons that's in this place right now too. I was thinking I should get another um, weapon, but I can't. I don't really have access to it right now. No, I want to pick up the ink ribbon. Thank you, game. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and leave this stuff here. We don't need it. Yeah, this is the perfect place to leave stuff. Either here or in the room up there. It's like a little meeting room. Actually, uh, let me check what I... Uh, I'll check the map again. I think we can only check it through here. Let me check what I left down there in the, uh, in the garage. So, first aid spray. So a knife. And another knife. The hunting shotgun. Hook shot. And an ink ribbon. Hmm. First aid could come in handy, but I'll see. I'll see what happens. Alright, so I'm coming over here because there are some items that are pretty useful over here. Um but I think I just remembered. Um going down that hall over there is not a good idea. Uh we will have to go over there eventually, but right now let, let let's just not go over there. I mean, we're not doing too good health wise, so let's <laughs> let's not do that to ourselves. Completely dry, huh? Oh look, there's urinals. Lovely. Unspeakably filthy. <laughs> it's gonna be clean in ages. Well, yeah, this place is abandoned. And look at that, there's a red herb here. Of course, we're gonna take it. Because we could sure use some health right now. Jesus Christ. And a green herb to go along with it. Nice! Very nice. 
and a um, jerry can, which, yeah, is good for our Molotovs. Of course, the game's not going to let us take that for free. Because Jesus Christ! <laughs> and we just walk out the door. Yep. And we now have to go back in that stupid room again. Just leave him there. Just don't go back in there. Ever. There's no reason to. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to have to tackle where to go to next. Not too sure. Hold on. I think, is there stuff back here? No, there isn't. I'm thinking of the little mini game. There's usually stuff back there. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's see, Billy's holding my ammo for now. I guess we could leave the... Oh, I can't leave it on the stairs, that's right. <laughs> uh, I guess we could leave the gasoline jug right around here. Because we don't need it just yet. We'll have to put it down. <laughs> we won't combine the herms just yet. Alright, so our main goal for this area is actually... <laughs> I went up the stairs and I'm going back down. Is actually uh, find some items uh, that we need to get to the next area, or actually to the basement of this training facility. James Marcus, yeah, that's him. Um, when good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Yeah, so that's our main objective. Obviously, we need to put two things here to, you know, to counterbalance the scale. Sounds easy, but it's it's really uh, quite some work just to open a door. <laughs> like, don't don't you guys have keys? Like, I know like this facility's probably like years old, like back from the 70s and 60s. But even then, they had keys. Like, come on. And there's a shiny over there, but I'm not going to get it just yet. Yeah, this is wilted, definitely. Very old fireplace, there's only a small trace of ash left. Yeah, not really much in this room, really. This is another room where it's just like, you get your thing and get out. But there's a file here, let's read it. Notice to all staff. This document is very old, much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agent teams will be held. Both meetings are security level five and will be held in the following locations. First floor, west operation control room, second floor, southeast meeting room. The entry code shall be 815, thank you. You notice how 815 is highlighted in like green? Yeah. Go over here. There's like this little like dildo thing. <laughs> it's a crank handle. I mean, sure. And that happens. And get out of here. <laughs> yeah, like. Do, do not stay in there, they will just pick you to death, it's not worth it. Unnecessary damage, and if I could avoid it, I will. This way! Okay. Yes, let's call Billy. Come on, Billy. Hurry your ass up. Alright. There's two double doors right there, but we're gonna check these doors. Locked from the other side. Boo! Door's locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. The top part is engraved with the image of a clock. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what that's about later. When I say later, I'm probably talking about this episode. <laughs> so, yeah. So I let up, but the sky is still covered with dark, ominous clouds. Of course, of course it has to be ominous outside, because this is Resident Evil. This is a horror game, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
at the time of this game release, the, the, you know, Resident Evil games were still pretty much being survival horror. I mean, even with the recent release of 7, it's still, you know, survival horror, but I mean, we're talking about 5 and 6. And even 4 to some extent, uh, they, they, they were kind of like action horror games. Check this out, there's a little speaking stand here. Well, that's very sophisticated for something that, you know, this room looks very old. <laughs> Security system is locked, please insert system disk. Hard to activate your release system. Yeah, we don't got a system disk. We're broke ass. Alright, let's go. Alright, so... I mean, I gotta keep in mind that this is hard mode, so enemies they have more health. Hmm. Some shotgun shells here. No, do not look at the painting. Wailing in grief. Yeah, very tragic. Uh, there you go. Shotgun ammo. Very useful. That that's right. We let the shotgun back down in the. The train garage. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and combine these. There you go. Yeah, we left the shotgun back down in the train garage. Uh, but there is another shotgun we could get. Should I go and get it? I mean, I'd be using a lot of ammo, but still. I could always just send Billy to go get it, since he's more tough. Why am I giving all the ammo to Rebecca? What the hell am I doing? <laughs> there you go. Probably give him the Molotov too, just for extra measures. Hmm. How do I switch? There you go. <laughs> I got the button. Fifteen shotgun shells. Not bad. All right. Let's split up. Roger. Yes, let's split up. <laughs> Because we're gonna go get us a shotgun. Much more useful shotgun. I think it has a wider spread, but hunting shotgun I think probably does more damage, but the spread is tighter? I don't I don't know. The hunting shotgun doesn't feel like it has a lot of power behind it to be honest, but maybe it does. I, I honestly can't tell. Alright, so we stocked up a lot on handgun ammo because over here, uh, where the shotgun is, uh, there's quite a bit of zombies. <laughs> there's quite a lot of zombies. No, no, don't switch characters. Come on. I'm trying to look at the map. Alright, what's there? We got two full healing items. Alright. Yeah, there's, it's a zombie party in this part of the freaking mansion. Come on, go down. There you go, good boy. Yeah, and he gets back up. Whatever, you know, I don't care. Here we are in this creepy hallway. Now we'll go down here. We'll find we can't go very far to over here. You know, there's some delicious herbs over there. Um, there's steam. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage, so don't don't freak out if you ever get hit by this. Just yeah, they just kind of back up. But yeah, there's steam there. We can't get through. But over here in this room is where we could get our shotgun. Our shit gun. But of course, it's guarded by a bunch of zombos. Oh, we gotta take him out first. Stop going for body shots, Billy. Just shoot him in the head. 
that's the thing about these old Resident Evil games, uh, is that, yeah, you just kind of have to hope for the best that you get a critical. Now we load. Piano in the back now. There you go, he's dead. I know you're over there. And there's a black statue. That's a very important item, but we're not going to pick it up just yet. Oh. What? what really? Two zombies? Could have sworn there was more, like at least four here. Uh, I guess not. Wow. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, pick up the shotgun, damn it. <laughs> there you go. So as you see, it takes up two slots, and it can hold a maximum of seven shells. Conventional pump action shotgun. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any room to pick up that gas tank, unfortunately. Nor could I take that, but let's go up here. See what see what's going on up here. Not very fun stuff is going on up here. Cause there's more zombies probably than there was downstairs up here. I'm not kidding. It's rather dangerous. <laughs> Well, maybe I can't take them all out. Who knows? Who knows? Let me see. Got 51 sh uh, uh, hanging bullets. And I got quite a lot of shotgun ammo. I think I could probably do this. Yeah, I could use the shotgun on these guys. Why not? They're babies. Uh, go down. Stupid. Mother. Mm. Well, that was a waste of ammo. Screw you. I don't even think you died from that. Anyways. We unlock this door now. So that means we could go and get those herbs we saw right there. Of that little bridge little awning sounds great but Billy's gonna die <laughs> so we need to find some health items real quick I, I mean I have plenty of health items but again I, I had to uh, plan conservatively can't blame me I swords for only bar access to the door can't lift them I mean you look well built Billy I mean you could probably lift those but whatever too much work. Too lazy. Oh, and there's a file over here. Regulation for trainees. Training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. Oh, jeez. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines, discipline, obedience, and unity. Highlighted green, so that means it's important. Anyway, uh, these three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times, devote yourselves to your training, and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation, Management Training Facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's regroup. Roger. Let's regroup. Come on. Alright, so now we're going to go over here to this hall. I think there's like two zombies here. Maybe. Yeah, there's two zombies. Shotgun. 
Shoot Rebecca, please. There you go. But he's not dead. <laughs> I guess, Billy. Let's try to save you some ammo, but whatever. Get the finishing blow. Ew, sounds weird. A collection of female statues. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Well, why would there be? It's locked. The door is embossed with a fire motif. Embossed? Is that how you say it? Embossed? Embossed? I don't know. Alright, so here is a map of the training facility right here conveniently for us. Yeah, quite a lot of places we still need to explore, as you can see. Uh, we got um, room to the to the left there that we can get into. No, we should two rooms to the left we can't get into. And we got rooms off to the right, which are pretty much locked for further access. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, there's some stuff here I think we could um, collect. Oh yeah, look at those computers too. 1998 people. Yes, there's a microfilm right there. Uh, we actually won't pick it up just yet. Uh, we're going to give the, the little crank to Billy. Hmm. I'm hoping we won't need... We won't need a five because I only got three handgun bullets. Uh, I'll run the gauntlet. I'll, I'll take the risk. Yeah, as you saw on the map, this thing's locked. And th this is obvious. I mean, come on. Candles burnt out. I mean, look at the picture right there. With the freaking Socrates or whatever it is. The old man is holding a candle in his hand. This light will guide you to a greater truth. Sure it will. Anyways, um, here's where we need to be. I'll go. Yeah. And Rebecca says she'll go because she's actually the only one who could go. Like, you, uh, Billy can't do this. I don't know why. Billy's the only one that could turn this here crank or winch control, whatever. Square shaped hole in the panel. So yeah, guess gotta use this. That's a weird sound, too. Hear that? Sounds weird. <laughs> right, as soon as we get here, we're gonna run. No time to screw around. Could pick up this handgun ammo, though. Yeah, those guys. Those are plague crawlers. Screw them. Shotgun works best with them. We're some acid shells, but hey, guess what? We don't have acid. We don't have any acid shells right now. Oh, bugger off. Stupid birds. Let's pick up this here green herb. Get away. I don't want to play. Yeah, you don't want to spend too much time on that awning. Birds are annoying. Awfully quiet in here. And it's a pretty huge room too. <laughs> As you can see. I wonder why. Hmm. Anyways, uh, there's an item we need to get over here, but yeah, there's a cage on top of it. And it's too heavy to lift. I don't even think Billy could lift it either. I just think Billy's lazy at some points. Like, really Billy? Wait, come on. You both can't lift that? 
and a bunch of chumps. And there's another bar door with some knights. But we can't go through there. Kind of getting tired of seeing these characters hold their side. <laughs> uh, we could go in that room, but it, I wouldn't recommend it. We're not really, you know, not really well equipped to go in there yet. Because there's actually uh, play crawlers in there, two play crawlers. And we unlock this door, and this door would lead us back to the main hall. Alright, with that, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. And my phone is going off because this stupid... Shut up. Alright. Alright, this will be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will be getting that key. So, until then...